catching up. All right, my 10 seconds first time. I'm good to go on you. Ready? Go. Three, two, one, go. All right, Guardian's black. Whatever. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Is he really? Hey, he's got black hands. the x-ray one? X, I think it is? Uh, it's not working right now. Cause Okay, it's working now. If you press tab and go to that little cog next to D-Man and Jason and Andrews. Cool. Smoke double flash from MBK. Push back banana. Execute somewhere. They're just kind of falling back to banana. The bomb's going over there right now. But like, look at how passive four players are playing in A right now. Like, you have so many players there, and you don't get any intel. Yeah, this is just a, a classic gamble. I I don't like gambling on CG side. It's not worth it. Almost like CG pistol rounds so important. You can't afford to gamble like that. But Caesar's doing a great job yeah, of just killing just them all. Gun boss mode. Which I don't, I don't think it's necessarily like a great play from Seas. I think it was just like a really big misplay from Envy. And like, why didn't Kenny S even plant the bomb there at the end of the round? He had the opportunity. The, he had to have felt the pressure. It doesn't matter. One versus four. And you have the opportunity to get a bomb plant if you just stick it for two more seconds. Yeah, I mean, the only thing is if he just felt like no matter what, he wasn't gonna get it down. Just go for one kill, but yeah, either way, it doesn't really matter at that point. You might as well just stick it and see what happens. Molotov by Seas on second round. That's a pretty big investment. Do you like Molotovs on second round? Yeah. Especially against a team like Envy. And I mean, he got, he got three kills, so I mean, it's not like it's... He made the money for it. And to avoid getting fucking uh, countered on second round, that would be huge. Yeah. It's just you can't often afford that kind of shit. So this setup that they're doing, Guardian and Zeus, and Edward on A, they're just so split up that if there's like a proper... Let, let's say they smoked off Archside and rushed Zeus at Porch. Like, Zeus is in this terrible position that he can't do anything to support... Uh, just anyone. He's just trapped there. He's just isolated and he's just gonna die. So yeah, if Envy, one and done. Yeah, if Envy pushed up and they have the smokes, like they could have smoked Guardian off of mid and then just run up and killed Zeus there, grabbed his gun, dealt with Edward, now they have the bomb site. I don't think Navi was prepared for a mid push there at all. Like that's that's one thing that probably would just own them. There's that Molotov coming into play. Like I mean look at how far it holds him back. Yeah. That's well worth it. They don't lose anyone. But already at that point in time, it was a 5 on 3. That's one thing about eco rounds, like just the general philosophy. If you're going to invest in grenades, run your execute and go for that bomb plant, you know? If you're going to skip the grenades, that's when you split up and you try to go for your individual skill picks. It looked like Envy, they bought the smokes as if they wanted to do the, the execute, but then they lost two players early in the round. Trying yeah. to trying to go for picks, like right here, Keo getting that kill. That's huge. That's what he, they didn't need that's to do last. last round. That's what they didn't need last round. Because they had the smokes last round. This round they don't have the smokes. Oh well, yeah, it's what they didn't need to do, but they went for it last round. Yes, yes. Here they just need to do economic damage. Maybe pick up a gun, try to find an opening, and go for it. But. Well, look at how aggressive Zeus is, like, it's you know, back to that split, like, him and Edward aren't working together whatsoever until they finally hear the footsteps, but that could have been super dangerous. Garden's in a great position there, actually. Just behind that statue and spawn. It's, like, one of the best positions you can hold Archside from. Especially if you have a teammate around Moto Pit. Seize, like, unnecessary, like, one and done spot. Imagine MBK goes there with Apex, kills Seize, they have the bomb site. Like that's and almost a cult in a one and two. Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna see the first gun round. 
And I mean, for a team that's just double saved, you'd expect them to be able to afford more than just like one smoke each. One NBK has Molly and two flashes, and then everyone else has one flash for maximum. Like, how shit is your economy? And just like we didn't get that plant first round. They didn't get the bomb plant first round, and they kept they they bought pistols on both second round and third round, and the second round mm -hmm. they they didn't go for bomb plant either. They bought grenades, but they didn't go for the bomb plant. I like what uh, Navi did there. They just did a three-man B control. As soon as they took control of it, they rotated C's down. But I would have, I would have almost rotated Flamey back into A as well. Because once Guardian's in this position here, he's guaranteed a kill, and then he can fall back and still keep his smoke. Yeah, I was gonna. I was just gonna say I like how long they used their smoke. Did they just throw two smokes. They threw two. Flamey needed to save his there. Guardian was rotating off, so he Guardian throws the smoke and rotates off. Flamey keeps his smoke, so that when that smoke disappears. He's able to just re-smoke. But Flamey needs to stay alive. Like, spamming through that smoke, first of all, you have the silence in for it. You don't have the bullets for it. Second of all, if they somehow miracle you through that smoke, you're, you're fucked. fucked. You're the only person there. Your nearest teammate is over at, like, CT spawn arch side. Imagine if he had a smoke here, or he could smoke this off until, like, 20 yeah. seconds and then Molotov. would be insane. Less, like, 10 seconds left. They just run in and bop him out. Like, it's a horrible hold from... From Flamey there, that was just a huge misplay throwing that smoke at the bottom of a banana. That cost them the round. Big misplay. Yeah, huge, actually. And that's like, I mean, even that's even NBK like using his own smoke on that Molly and just running through his own smoke. <laughs> that's like. I didn't catch that. That's a good like, catch. That's a good catch. That's just like him, like envy balls, just right there. Just like, yeah, I'll smoke off your choke point for you and still run through it. This is just trying to contain them into a banana right now. Just make them die with a bomb. They're far enough away though. I like what Envy's doing right now. They know their economy is not that strong. They need to save all their weapons. And then they stayed just as far away from the bomb explosion as possible. The bomb blew up and they didn't push any farther after that. You'll see a lot of people as soon as the bomb blows up, they're still just holding W running somewhere. Envy's just like, nah, let's just sit here and wait. <laughs> Is this the, is this the, alright, wait, actually, they're gonna be fast play B. I mean, this is just, that Molotov was nuts. Just blocks him from retreating, so Flamey has to push forward. Yeah. It's just crazy that you see Envy, like, more so than, like, most other teams. Although this is sick by C's. Yeah, just abusing that smoke right there. But this is also a product of having, like, I was just gonna say, Envy, it's crazy that they had put like four to five players in Banana at the beginning of the round, like, it's, immediately. It's, it's unnecessary. Such a clusterfuck. Yeah, it's, there's always just gonna be collateral damage there. But yeah, they mollied, what, the entrance and car, both at the same time, so it just traps yeah. anyone, just isolates them to the car in the sandbags area, that's pretty good. That's a great way to, like, counter take control of Banana, but you don't need to commit so many people to that position. Because it doesn't, it doesn't leave you options to do anything else. You can't fake, you can't uh, retreat and go back to A. You don't know if the enemy's pushed down alt mid or window. Like, there's so many plays that could have happened there. In the case, it's lining up a smoke already for a fast play. Jesus. What are you going to do there? That's just an instant headshot. I, I wasn't paying attention to that. Do you have auto director on? Uh, yeah. Wait, there's just, for like the, just for like the first like 20 seconds, I usually do. I don't know what Guardian's backing off there for. Like, he's just exposing himself to two angles. I don't understand though. I, I missed that first kill. I wanna. I'm can just we, gonna. Can we watch it? You wanna watch this round over? Yeah, I wanna rewatch this round because there's just so much that happened there in such a small amount of time that's so hard to pick apart. I just want to I just want to see that first kill and just see how spread apart first of all how envy was as they're getting into apartments there and running out like first of all Edwards in a horrible position secondly apex is just in apartments by himself when his teammates so far like away from him well he just runs upstairs and gets a headshot like that's just like that's it's just insane I'm gonna pause it right after apex gets his first kill okay I'm I'm paused right when Apex is killing Edward, 128 yeah. on the clock. So, just right there. 
Why is Edward in holes trying to get grenade damage off? Like what? Like what benefit is it going to do them even if he gets the perfect nade? If he gets the perfect he nade, did. actually he did. Like look at Apex, fifty-six yeah. HP. That's a nice nade. That's it's it's a good nade. It's not it's not a perfect nade. I mean, oh great, you did forty-four damage to one person. What if Envy is doing their actual execute and they're all trying to jump out holes at the same time, or they're all coming trying to come up port side or top mid at the same time, and you deal forty damage to two or three of them? Right there, you've already you know increased the damage output by two to three times. So that one grenade, sorry, that one player's damage from the grenade from Edward, not worth it. Secondly, you're exposing yourself in the apartments to get killed. If I'm playing apartments on Inferno, the amount of times I go into apartments by myself is a grand total of zero. Like, I'll go, yeah. I'll maybe sneak my way into boiler, into window, like 30, 40 seconds into the round, just for information and to contain the enemy and to get the quick rotate to B. But if I'm not doing that, I'm not going into apartments. It's not worth it. You expose yourself to a one versus one engagement, M4 versus an AK, and oftentimes, like the AK is just gonna win that fight. It's not worth it for the CTs. Well, and you look at—I mean, you look at the defense. There's like no communication that this was gonna happen because now that he dies, there's no recovery for yeah. Navi because there's... Guardian is in sight with an AWP. His only play is to try and make it to pit, but even there with an op, like you're still fucked. Zeus is all alone. There's no chance of him getting support. Yeah, like, Guardian, what was he doing? He's going for an aggressive pick onto porch early on the round? Like, from porch into top mid, like, T-junction? I did not see, to be honest. I would assume so, because he's jumping right back into sight right now. Yeah. So there's no return frag. So Edward's dead. They gave up apartments. Okay, I'm going to pause, uh, unpause it now. So what happens, Zeus decides to leave Arch. He's going to come around to pit, and Guardian's going to do what? Okay, so I'm gonna pause no it again. I'm, pa I'm pausing at 116. I'm pausing at 116. Because I want to talk about that ro no rotation from B, and I want to talk about Guardian's positioning as well. So, are you paused? Yep. Okay, so Zeus made it into pit. Great position. This is exactly where he wants to be. Uh, there's a smoke that's in, in flagpole, so he can't position himself there, which is where he would want to be ideally, but he still has pit, which is good positioning. Guardian's come around, and he's, he's at arch, and he's holding for arch side. But it just leaves Zeus so exposed when he knows, like, okay, they've smoked off port arch side already. They've made it known that they're in apartments early in the round. Like, nobody rushes a person into apartments by themselves that early into the round unless they're planning on doing, like, some fast A strat. Like, you, you just never see it. Usually they'll walk around, they'll watch for a push, they'll spam out the, the wood planks in winter room, and they'll wait, and they'll do a default, and they'll take banana control, and they'll take mid control, then they'll go up. It, if Apex is going in apartments that quick, going for that kill, that's like a telltale sign saying, dude, they could be coming fast hauls. We should be playing two people around pit right now. And Guardian's just off on his own, holding arch side. Why? As you said, there's no rotation from B. If the play is through arch into CT to B, C's should be in a good enough, the C's and Flamey should be in good enough positions where they can have one guy like Trybox, another guy in back hull or spools. And then as the terrorists try to run up, they just get crossfired. So there's... Yeah, I think most of it, from Guardian's position at least, has got to be because Zeus had to leave so early because of that pick. They don't know that that side is smoked off. So Guardian's like trying to watch it, not realizing that Envy isn't even going to fuck with it. Okay. That's my. That's the biggest thing I can think of, is that Zeus can't gather that intel on rap side. Okay, so let's see what how Guardian reacts to that smoke then. Because right now he's just staring at the smoke, scoped in at 116. So I'm going to unpause. Three, two, one, go. So he sees the smoke, he turns around, he watches Halls, he sees him coming up lane and everything. Happy run through the smoke. <laughs> I think it's wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's just such a loaded a round. Yeah. I mean, it's just... Yeah, it just comes to that one tiny mistake by Edward just swinging out, just being a little bit too committed wide. Well, and here's here's the real shit of it. Like, if I mean, take away just that individual round, you look at it, the impact of the whole half now, like how money screwed they they're gonna be now with Flamey oh, yeah. dying. Actually, they'll have money for next round with Edward as 5400. But if Flame keeps his own gun, they have three buys, and Zeus will have to just force a Mag Seven or something. See, I think Mag Seven on CT side of this map is pretty good. Like, if you take it to a bomb site and you sit in the bomb site with it, or you go aggressive into halls into bedroom or something. And you just lock that area down. Even at banana, it's pretty good. It's just 
if you guess the wrong site, you're fucked because it's long range. Yeah, and you can't rotate. But I mean, they should be buying right here. Oh, they paused it. Let's just fast forward, fast forward through this little guy. Sure. Okay, I'm at five seconds left in freeze time. Paused. Alright, I'm ready. I'm at five. Okay, go. So they bought a P1 for the CZ. Is the CZ still only $100 kill reward? Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. This is this is what's interesting to me about Envy. Like, I'm wondering if like they're still gonna be doing this shit like a month from now. They can't. Like, they're gonna like the the four one death squads everywhere. Like, that's all they don't. This is all they're doing. Like this whole tournament. Teams will catch on. Like, that's the problem. This is their first tournament together. That's why it worked. Like, it was their honeymoon stage. Nobody knew about them. They're playing well. The new team, fucking juice is flowing. New chemistry. Everyone's like really excited and yoked and everything. But here's another entry given up. Not only That's that. That's not necessary peak. Like behind it, like you have a smoke down. Why are you even trying to fuck with the edge of the smoke? Yeah, I wasn't watching him. I don't know why. I do know why. Because Zeus at the beginning of the round wasted his Molotov at the top of the middle. He just used it like five seconds into the round, which is like why. Okay, Edward there shouldn't be able to get more than one kill. Like that's one and done. Like that's the definition of it. Guardians playing this really well. I mean, it's a it's a great recovery. But right here, okay, Envy got the entry kill over at B, they fell back, they came up mid, they're going against Edward who's just on the railing by himself, and then Zeus rotated into the bomb saying Guardian was on the balcony the entire time. Edward shouldn't be able to get more than one kill there. Frankly, he shouldn't even be able to get one. Yeah, the second one he got falling, so it was pretty fucking fortunate. Yeah. But just the Molotov at the or like the incendiary grenade by Zeus at the beginning of the round just threw yeah. me off completely. Like, what's the point of it? What's it gonna accomplish? That's the fear of envy, I think, with how like fast paced they are. He's done it again. A minute twenty eight. There's not even twenty seconds gone from the round, and he's already just like using it. No smoke thrown his way. No flashes. He hasn't peeked. They don't have any information. I mean, imagine how useful it would be right in this position, using it at lane and or halls, like right now. Yeah, that's just bad news, yeah. Now they're super fucked. Guardian's in such a shitty spot. That smoke helps him. Oh, Jesus. Flamey sells a Molotov and a smoke. Smoke off pit, molly site, molly pit, whatever. I don't like that they split up, to be honest with you. No room for trades. I think splitting up can work in certain situations. Not with an opgoing lane. Like Not with an opgoing like lane. He if he doesn't get that pick on the first shot, it's just over. Yeah. There's too many angles for him to check. Oh, this this is the round with Kenny S with the Glocks and the knife. This is the knife round. Yeah, I remember watching this live now. Yeah, that round was sick. I can't believe Guardian went for that. To be honest with you. Yeah, that's pretty grim. Like, they, they had such a good start. They were 4 1 up. Were they 4 well, 0? Is, uh, yeah, they were 4 0 up, and then. Uh, three, 3 0, and then it's just been traded back and forth since. Okay. But this is where it gets really shitty, because, like, oh, from here on out, it's like four spies. Or, like, they. Like, you look at the money that, like, Flamey has, they, they're always going to feel like they can buy, but they're always going to have Edward and Guardian, who are super low. And, like, that's the entire thing with those Molotovs at top mid, is they feel like they have to stop that early pressure, but they just don't have the utility from now on to do it. This is why well, I fucking hate Inferno. See, well, that, that's the thing. They're trying to control that top, top, middle, like, T-junction. Why? Like, if, if yeah. they're afraid of Envy just pushing up, they still have to decide, okay, do we go Arch or do we go Porch? If they come up Porch, why don't you use the Molotov right in Porch, like, right... Like between site and the truck or something, or use it at halls, or use it at arch side. Just wrap around mini pit. Like there's so mm -hmm. many positions that, with the incendiary, you're gonna maximize your damage. But not only that, you're like 
you're saying, you hey, for the rotations as well. you delay the rotations, but you say, listen, Envy, we're not going to waste our grenades until you actually pressure us enough, like commit your lives to actually entering the bomb site. Because, okay, that Molotov might delay the, the attack towards Arch and towards Porch, but they still haven't, like, Envy doesn't have any control of anything, just taking top middle like that. Navi doesn't need to control top middle like that, though. They can just sit in the bomb site and pit. And crossfire yeah. the, the the choke point. Yeah, no, you're right. And uh, I mean, even on these gun rounds, we'll see it. Like they've the last two gun rounds that they've they've given up those first kills, like really silly, really early on, and that just plays into envy. So we'll just have to see if that happens again. But this time, at least, I think that's kind of like the idea they got. Like, like they're doing that double double halls push right now, but put guardian with the op over towards B. Ooh, that's a nice shot. That's a flick shot double kill. This is a very good hold. And there are those Molotovs again from Envy, they just don't work that round. Yeah. I don't think that... Did they miss the Molotov or something? No, they got it, but it was just Guardian playing at the corner. They got one behind the car, one in front of the car. Rip. That was a good pick off. That's that's good way of just moving the op around. Like... If if Navi's only throwing that Molotov top mid because they're afraid of Envy's fast plays, then they should just be playing more uh, defensively, like in in safer positions. I'd almost I'd almost rather them play like some fucking pop flash, stay aggressive. In or mid. or pop flash and just do like yeah. three man like three man peaks off of a pop flash. But again, Seas is about to just waste his molly at top mid, and what's it gonna do? It's gonna delay them, so that the earliest they execute is a minute twenty. Still, no smokes thrown top mid, no flashes, nothing. So, well, there's nothing behind it. They're playing so passive at A, like, there's no reason. You're playing passive, you should let them up mid. That's exactly what you want. I like what Seize just did there. He just smoked off Arch and got close to the smoke. He fucked it up in the end, but the idea, I think, was had value. Ed, like, Edward, I think he jumped up onto the flagpole there after his teammates were dead. Why doesn't he just sit in the pit and just stay alive and just be a threat. Oh, this fucking round. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> you know, like... Navi sh should have won this game then. Like, these yeah. these last, like, wow. I don't want to go into well, it. Well, they're, they're, they're just screwed now because now they're at a point where they can't let Envy get more rounds. They just can't afford to save anymore. And this is like the round they know they have the economy low for Envy, so they have to force buy themselves. Yeah. But they don't have anything to stop Envy. Like, that is a fucking shit buy. It's a pretty fucking awful buy. It doesn't matter though, they're just gonna probably waste their Molotovs at top mid 10 seconds in the round anyways. Again, like, Navi's... Like, Navi's right now thinking, our only options are to play aggressively right now. Like, that's, that's the thought process. We need to play yeah, aggressive. Yeah, that's fine, but I don't like the aggression down mid. Like, play aggressive into a choke point, but... Yeah. Like, you, like you pop flash, smack seven. Pop yeah. flash and triple peek at a choke point as opposed to... Rushing, <laughs> rushing <down>. down. <laughs> like, there's aggressive and then there's offensive. <laughs> they played- they street played terror side right there on CT side. Fucking Navi, man. Fucking CLG, what? <laughs> Go on those CLG strats. That's a smart decision. Let's play T side twice on the hardest T map in the rotation. Like this, this is this, and this was envy. Like the entire tournament was just. Well, Evmi's always been like this on Inferno. Like, even back to when they were LDLC with Shox and yeah. Smith, they were doing this last year. Like, I remember firsthand playing them on this map, and they played the exact same way. So, for Na'Vi to just try to play Envy on Envy's own game, like, this is Envy's... Like, they like this map. They play this map a very aggressive style. And they have, like, five really individually based... Like, in like high individual skill players. You can't do solo aggressive shit against them. You need to start banding together and use your teamwork. You're Navi, for God's sake. Like, you're one of the best team-oriented teams in the entire fucking world. And, like, Edward just, like, going aggressive here again. Like, 
The fact that he got a second kill there and almost made it away makes me physically ill. I just don't understand why he was so far away from Flamey. Like, I'm wondering if that's miscommunication on Edward or miscommunication on Flamey. I think they said, okay, we have the guns, let's push down or something. I don't, I don't know why it would have been that. Like, I don't know why that would be the case. You'd want to protect the rifles, if anything. Well, it's all, it's just like they've, every time they've pushed down B, there's always like three, four, five MB players there. Like, why are they pushing down into that? Especially without the nades or the molotovs or the smokes, you know? Doesn't make sense. I mean, Navi's gonna lose this half and still, you know, only lose the game 13 16. Like, that's. They must be doing something really right on T side, or neither of these teams know how to play CT side at all. Yeah, there's that. I think also new teams just kind of struggle more with CT side than T side. It's much easier to group up in this game and just hit a site. Yeah, but Navi's been together for ages. Like, they should have all these positions gr drilled. Like, all the setups. Like, they should have aggressive setups. They should have passive setups. They should have default setups. They should have all sorts of things to be prepared for this. And just say, listen, these guys are, are doing fucking four-man bursts on us. Let's just play our passive defensive setups. And when we, they start executing, drop a Molotov under their feet and just... Clean it up. Smart play yeah, from Guardian. I mean, this is just the same thing though. They don't have the nades to like slow that mid mid pressure down. So Edward just gets the one trade and done. And now Zeus just has to be a boss and pit, which he is. But like, why are they playing in these spots where it's so like utility the utility required? Yeah, I I like I've seen a couple of instances where Navi actually positioned themselves around the smokes really well. So this last round we saw. There's a smoke around arch side by like library that guardian positioned himself around where he was able to get one kill seized earlier in the half smoked off arch side near the cubby and played behind it where he was able to get a kill i uh, seized earlier in the in the half played behind the car spammed a few people through the smoke there so they position themselves around smokes really well for the most part but i still see like really rookie shit like edward and halls by himself right now <laughs> like, guardian alone at arch side when there's no crossfire in mid they're still trying to con control top and middle when it's it's not doing anything for them. Look, Guardian's split off, he's going to take down. Uh, Seas comes around the corner, he's going to get taken down. Just like, what the fuck? Like, Flamey's in a really good position right now, actually. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking x-ray! Ooh, Seas the big flank. Or Zeus. Big plays, big plays, big flank. Oh yeah, this is the round that fucking massive. Huge. I forgot about that round. Like, that's that's good recovery, right there. Guardian and Seized, fuck that round. Like, Navi shouldn't have won that round. Zeus and Flamey just salvaged the fuck out of that round. That's one of those rounds when you're like, when you're an Envy or when you're in the Terrace team and you get like some fucking solid picks at A and you're you're already committed to this like strat towards B, you're just like, no, we want to call it off somehow. They should have. They got they got the two kills on- There was time left, I think. There was only like 45, 50 seconds Dude, they ran that strat like 10 seconds into the round. <laughs> yeah, they killed Guardian and then they got the kill on C's. Those were two of the A players just instantly dead. They no should've... reason not to call it back. Yeah. They should have just said, you know what, we got the two kills, let's just sit here and wait for some, uh, mis like, a rotation from Na'Vi. They have to rotate to A now, like, they have to rotate at least one guy. It's the last round in the half. Just sit one guy and spawn, wait for that rotation. Wait another, like, 30 seconds, and then we'll just group up and go on this one guy A together. Like, it's a five on fucking three, for Christ's sake. Yeah, I mean, losing that is just, like... They should never have lost that. I'm actually surprised that it's amazing that Envy or Navi, I mean, uh, wins that half. To be yeah, honest with you. they honestly like that round that happened earlier. Now it, the the Happy versus Guardian, through the smoke. Yeah, that was huge. That's just that. That might have been the match winner. That just equalizes. Yeah, it would have been 100. percent But I'm saying like this this round that they that Navi squeezed out, which uh, they didn't yeah. deserve. Now I guess like makes up for the, the same makes up your round win. Yeah, it makes up for the round that Envy got that Envy didn't deserve. But yeah, you're right. Like four one death squads everywhere for Envy and Navi's like re retaliation response to it is what let's solo aggressively play our positions and hold unnecessary choke points. Like okay, yeah, top and middle's a choke point, but it's. 
It's not the choke, like, you don't need control of it as a CT. Or, like, if you're gonna want to put pressure on it, like, either put two lane or two rap side and use, like, a pop flash from, like, a third person and just try and overtake it once you hear them get up. It's not like, not like Envy's being very, like, secretive of what they're yeah. fucking doing. Like when Edward's up on the balcony, for example, playing yeah. Juliet, you just have someone under the, the porch or something ready to just pop around the corner. Or you, you play a double porch setup, one person on it and one person under it. Like, there's, there's so many things that they could have done. MBK's getting an initial kill here at B. They've used the smoke really early in the round. Like, that's the only smoke from the CTs, and they've already used it at the top of Banana just to stop a push. Like, that's great pressure from Navi, even for being, like, a man down. With, they don't know it, but they're in a pretty decent situation still to actually win this round. Because they have Banana control. They've they've made the CTs humble. The CTs are out of smokes, but they have four people with armor. Like that's the only issue. Yeah, the biggest issue too is because of that opening pick. I mean, Envy doesn't have to cheat anywhere as well. You can't like catch them into like a disadvantaged defender in a bomb site. C's has a smoke, and he's over towards B. So this has got to be. That's a it's a B split. That's so dumb. Why would he smoke CTs? Ooh, actually, it works for Glocks. Oh, it's a fake. It's a fake. Look at this rotation. Kenny S with his knife out. That's smart, dude. That's smart, dude. Wait, did they plan that, though? Did they plan that? They're going to push into CT so. spawn. Smoke off B. The smoke B. Okay, for, I was going to say, like, it works with Glocks because now you can run into back calls without getting shot from try box by USP. But I think, was it, okay, the question is, did they plan that to be a fake or not? I don't think so. You think that was a mid-roll, a mid-round call? Actually, you know what, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, because having your smoke and your flash over towards B when the rest of your tech is going into A, like, that's the dumbest thing in the world if that's not a fake. Like, that had to not have the utility to help open up a bomb site. That, that had to have been a fake, like, that had to be planned. Smoke on yeah. B, they think... The B players think, oh, hey, look, it's a, it's going to be a B split. And then you just sit here, you wait. Kenny S rotates with his knife out. You get the kill, and you end up on A. Like that, if they plan that, that's fucking genius. If they didn't plan it, they're lucky motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt, because I don't even think there's no way that you have one smoke in your entire Terrorist arsenal, and you send your three players up mid without it, unless <laughs> it's a fake. What's this MBK position here? Who the fuck knows, dude? It's like... <laughs> <laughs> Surely someone fucking knows. He's got smoke, and he's just putting his face in the floor. Is he expecting a Molotov? Is he waiting he's for, a flash he's waiting for a flash and he's going to turn around? Is it just the one flash and he's going to turn around? See, Mr. Walked... Or Flame and Edward just walked at me. Why? Okay. Pause. I need a second to breathe before okay. I rage at Flamey and Edward right. on an eco round. Walking up arch side, two of them split off from the rest of the team who has the bomb at B. On an eco round with Galils and AKs. Okay? Well, sorry, he's a got, UMP. A, U <laughs> a, a UMP yeah, and an AK. The AK a AK is a little bit fucking insane. Like, I, I get if you want to do a scout, like, okay. Ways that they can scout. One, Send Flamey just to wrap arch and see, like, jump around and see if he can find out if there's a stack there from the CTs. Two, send Edward into uh, pool at B and see if there's a stack on B from the CTs. Right. Three, yeah. have... Uh, wait. <laughs> like, come the fuck on, man. Yeah, like, don't risk the AK. Well, it's funny, I think it's, I don't think it's, it wasn't this match, because we would have talked about it, but I know against, uh, I think it was against TSM on Inferno, where Envy Happy comes up mid with a MAC-10 and literally just runs around making all the noise in the world, and he's got a MAC-10, so it doesn't fucking matter. It, yeah, that's fine, like, if he gets the kill at $600, if he loses exactly the gun, what, it's, a, exactly it's an SMG. Doing here. Yeah, that's exactly what Edward should be doing here. Why is Flamey there? Like, why is Flamey the babysitter there with an AK? It's not worth it. If they die... It's over. If if the push at B happens and Happy and MBK even go two for two, 
Or sorry, one for one, so two for two. And we can happy get a kill each. Like, how shit of a position is it for Navi to be in? Like, they don't have any information right now. Like, that's the biggest issue. Because they're in a position to push into B. They have no information. Like, for all they know, Envy could have a third person at B right now. They could have four people. Or fourth. Or five people. Fuck. Who knows? Well, actually, yeah. not five, because I think Kenny S was spotted, maybe? Anyways, I just wanted to point out how fucking dumb that was that Flame is there with an AK right now. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I mean, because this is what Renegades, when they played Nip on Inferno, um, lost an AK on an eco round, and then that's the one that Alu used to get like a four kill the next round, and they yep. lost every round from there. Yeah, I remember like, that. It's that one AK-47 is just fucking huge. It is. It's, like, people don't think it, but it is a game changer. All right. Three, two, one, go. So th they're pushing into B, and Flame and Edward are still just walking at mid. I think I catch Kirishima with a knife out. <laughs> <laughs> After all that. After all that. It's so perfect. Like that's that's a good gun round strat. Pressure B. Two people walk up arch. The arch guy's gonna rotate off of arch towards B. One of the lane guys is gonna rotate to arch with a knife out. You get the kills there, and you're able to like double back to A if you want, or you split through spawn. Like that's a good gun round strat. But against an eco, it's not worth a risk because, like, it's almost like you can predict to a certain extent what your opponent's gonna do on city side gun round. But it's hard to predict what they're going to do on an eco round because that's when you pull out the gamble stacks, the four man arch stack, the four man B stack, the random pop flash push stuff. Like, that's when you do that as CT side. You don't do that on regular gun rounds because it's not worth a gamble. If you take that gamble and you lose, like, you're on eco. But if you're on eco round, like, it's almost like we can, we can do whatever the fuck we want because we're probably well, going to lose a round anyways. Imagine if they had done this round what they did last round and there were four members of NV and B like they're Oh, Navi's fucked. Navi's fucked yeah. if if this if this CT setup happened last round. They're fucked. Yep. I don't like how like look at Flamey as well. He just cleared halls by his own. He has no support. Yeah, like, if, if there was a hall stack, if there was one shotgun or not two even, pistols. Not even a stack, like a single person there. Look at all the like all the angles you have to clear if you're Flamey. And you put any pistol there except for USB, P250, 57 Deagle, fucking Dooley's, Mag 7, Nova, any of those guns, one are gonna one shot Flamey and he's gonna lose his AK there. But I, I liked what um, Happy did there. So we saw the four-man stack at B from Envy. And Happy was just hiding in Pit the entire time. And what's important about that is it allows Envy to do that four-man A stack later in the half where they hide an A completely. And they, they have 1% B hiding as well. So Navi doesn't know if it's an A stack or a B stack. And they'll have to commit a person to finding that out. And, you know, they might lose a player and lose the AK and everything like that. Just seeing if it's a fake or not. Or, sorry, seeing if it's a stack or not. So if you're going to stack four people on one side of the map and have one person at the other side of the map, it's very important to, to have that guy hide as well. Just just so that you don't know if it's a stack or not. Playing the long game. Yep. You got to think about future rounds and getting the fucking heads of the enemy. Well, and look at how passive Envy is playing now too, because they don't have all the utility to play aggressive. Like when we saw Navi like trying to take that mid control, Envy's yeah. just like, "Fuck it, we'll sit back. We have flashes, we have the smokes for when the execute comes in." I, I would almost argue that it should be the back, like backwards. If you don't have, okay, first of all, get they aggressive. all first of all they all have M4s. None of them have Fomuses, so they could get Fomuses and full utility. But instead, they chose to do M4s. Secondly, if you're gonna play without utility, it means you can't hold choke points. It means that you want to go for the the one-on-one -on -one, like aim engagements. That's the only reason why you go M4 armor, no smoke, like no utility, because you want to take those engagements. Like what happens here? Navi is getting into the bomb site, and Envy has nothing to retake this bomb site with, and it's a four and three, four and two. Like Envy fucks themselves when they don't go for those early pickoffs because it's gonna make retakes impossible. They don't have the utility to retake. They can't smoke native molly flash any any positions like that. So they yeah, need to I, go for the gun battles. I actually didn't like how passive they played it inside the B bomb site once that execute came in. They had one triple, one emo, and they were just going for that headshot towards grill. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. They need they need to go for the early pickoffs. 
Well, and especially if you, especially if you have a smoke for that choke point, when, like that execute wasn't late in the round. Like they had a smoke up. Like you play behind your smoke. The How does Envy win this? Fuck knows, dude. Twelve seven. Like fuck knows. I don't like. I don't even like how they're getting two deagles here at CTs. Like you. Yeah, I don't either. Like the last round, the very last round that just happened, you lost because why? You didn't have utility to hold your bomb site. Why? Well, you couldn't afford it. Why? Well, because you're buying fucking deagles that cost seven hundred dollars. To be fair, on your ecos. we are watching Envy. Of all okay. the teams that you can like make a case to do something like that. I mean, I, like even a CZ costs two hundred dollars less. <laughs> you know, like that's an extra flashbang on a gun round. But if I'm short on money, I go Kevlar, no helmet. I go Fomus, because right there that's three thousand, and then buy whatever the fuck else grenades I can get if I have like four thousand dollars instead of armor M4. That's it. Yeah, absolutely. God, I don't understand. Like by all rights, Navi should look at the bank they have built up. Thirteen seven. Four of their players have ten k or more. Well, no, three. Post buy, yeah, it's just three. Well, I mean, Zeus could have dropped a gun. He would have been over nine thousand dollars. It's Kenny with the op, isn't it? Kenny's gonna do it. He's gonna go aggro and peak mid. That's what they have to do. They've been playing passive. They've been getting shut down. Go for an opening pick. Just think, if Navi didn't fuck up their CT half, this game would have been over already. Great, great uh, bait setup there into Apex on the balcony. Like, Apex is playing this almost perfectly. Yeah, that double like, pit this, was really this double nice. pit with Keo and every. Yeah, it's a great setup from NB here. Like, if you're a terrorist and you're running into that, this is nothing you can do. You're just fucked. Like, this is, this is exactly the setup that Navi should have been doing against NB. Had Navi run that once when NB was doing a fast day, this game would have been over by now. Like, it would have been 16 to fucking 5 for Navi. You want to click next round? Yeah, I was just going to say the same thing. Um, 13 seconds, 12, 11. Cool. Dude, it's 16-13. MB wins eight in a row. <laughs> that's that's oh. disgusting. <laughs> well, nine in a row, technically. Uh, technically nine in a row, yeah, because they just got that last one. Not even technically. Literally. Like literally, <laughs> shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> Drink your whiskey. You know me so well. <laughs> See, I actually, I actually like that those fast plays from Navi, because that's what I used to hate about them was there was just always slow plays. That fast play, I liked out of them. It just kind of got screwed. But now that they switch back to the slow play, it's like gonna be even worse for them. No, you're absolutely right, cause. Like, it's, it's a bit loaded. Like, the fast play is good when you have such a round lead and you want to close out the game when you have rounds to gamble. Because even if you don't win the rounds, like, sometimes you you can do enough economic damage. Let's say Envy only lives with one or two people instead of, you know, the four people that they live with. Now they're looking at, you know, two of their players can't buy, like, full equipment. Then if you do another fast play, they can't hold the fast play because they don't have the utility to stop it. You need like smokes and nades and everything to stop a fast play. Without all that utility, you can't hold it. So if Navi ran it, got like more kills with it, then they set themselves up to win with another fast play. So it's it's a very good idea instead of just slow playing the entire time, which is what they're notorious for. Yep. But again, like once once the rounds start equalizing and it becomes like 13-10. 13, 11, that's when you say, okay, you know what, the fast plays haven't been working, let's slow it down, let's go back into our default and all that shit. Can we just talk about the amount of times that these players on Envy have been screwed by one player lurking back towards A with the bomb? <laughs> the fast rotations. <laughs> this, this gave me this gave me such a nightmare when it was happening from Zeus. Well, that's the problem when you play, like, such, you have such hyper-aggressive players all playing on the same team. Like, name one of these players that isn't looking for a kill, who isn't frag chasing. Exactly. Every, every single one of them frag chases. Yeah. Oh, Apex just fucking save the... F 
You know what? If Zeus just wide peeked the halls there, instead of pushing out to the balcony, if you wide peeked the halls, you could see the bomb diffuser. Yeah. And he probably would have won the round. And the game as well. Like right there, Navi could have won the game off that play. Well, see, this is this is this is why I hate Inferno as well, because the entire CT half part of the issue with Navi was they were never able to stabilize their economy because of their bad setups. But now that like Envy's done it, now that they have five smokes, five Molotovs, yeah. like there's there's no chance. I like, mean, you're just on Inferno, you're just fucked. But you can't fault Envy for th like you can't. I don't like not envy. Navi, Navi didn't play CT side properly. Like, they didn't abuse CT side, and Envy just four one ran around, and Navi can stop them because Navi played it improperly. Like if you're playing CT side properly, you'll shut down Envy fucking fifteen zero. Like en Envy's T side strats were non-existent. It was just fast rat after fast rat after fast rat. Just four one death squads everywhere. If you fucking play passively with Molotovs, nades, and smokes, you won't lose a single round. So yeah, the f but, well, here, here's the issue with Navi though. Like, look, look at what they're doing. They're not, they're not putting pressure anywhere. Like, at least Envy was putting pressure places. Yeah. Like, there's no, there's no map control whatsoever. All they, have, they have banana, great, but they're not for, like, there's, they're not forcing any smokes well, or they, Molotovs. They, they, they forced out the B smokes. Happy and MBK both use their, the, the smokes, like all their, everything, because they are happy. Just use one right there. And there's a third player here now, too. There's a third player there because, yeah, they didn't have any map control. The third player there was because no map control. Uh, but the, the initial smokes and smokes and everything that went into B pulled out um, all the B players' smokes and everything. So had it, Navi waited five more seconds, that smoke would have cleared at Banana Choke Point. They could have gone in and maybe had a little bit more success. But, yeah, you, you are right in the sense that they didn't have map control, which allowed that... Uh, NV players to push into winter room, which allowed them to see that alt mid was clear and mid was clear, and then rotate Kenny S to B. So if Navi takes banana control, has two people sitting at mid, like maybe one person in boiler and one person like by the haystack or by Mexi or something, and then they do that B fake, and then it pulls the rotations to come and peak mid, and then they get the kill at mid, and then they re exec B, like maybe that works then. Yes, you're like that would work, but you're right, they, they didn't have enough map control. And Envy was just able to just rotate and stack to B. That's that's where the smoke came from. It wasn't happy smoke. Kenny has smoked it from yep. Arch. Arch side. But Before he can only he do that because they have so much freaking money. Well, bec also because they're not pressured. You said it last round. Yeah. Navi is not pressuring enough. Well, here they just took mid control. But um, oh, this is great. Uh, Keo and Apex. They, yeah, these these pushes by them all tournament were like sick. Every, every round, I remember now. I remember watching this. Every round at one minute, like almost clockwork, they would they would double push into halls. Every single round, like we're gonna see it every round this half, one minute like clockwork, they just push into halls. And the the thing why Navi doesn't know it is because brand new team, they just formed. This is their first tournament together. Right now, two versus two, like this is, like Navi can win the the tournament or not the tournament, but like they can advance in the tournament right yeah. here. Again, like they had so many opportunities that they just failed. It's this plant spot. This is that plant spot. Remember behind this box? Oh right, and Edward had like he threw the molly and NBK just stuck the diffuse. Yep. One versus two. Oh, 19 HP. Oh, he flashed himself. Was it? Yep, he did. He flashed himself. He flashed himself. Yep, that's it. Did it. He flashed himself. Oh, uh, I'd be I'd be you throwing up if I was like I'd be like, admin, admin, come, <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god, I need, I need <laughs> yeah, I mean, envy, envy, it's bailed out here with a couple really unlucky plays. It's it's funny to me how like little importance Envy has put on banana control as CT when they were sending like four players there every round as terrorists. Yeah, usually you mirror what you do yeah. as as CTs on T side and vice versa. And it's like al almost 
like everything passive B, passive A. Whereas before it was four one death squad B, four one death squad A. Although this is this is a perfect round for Navi. There's only two players at A. Like this is a bad read by Envy. They're it doing did, their aggression over. Towards doesn't B. matter. Look at the smoke and halls. Like they just counter as soon as the smokes came over A at porch side, they counter smoked halls and it just fucks Navi. They can't come out halls like that. Yeah, and this is what we talked about in the first half. We said, like, if you have that utility, you can delay for your team's rotations, and that's exactly what's happening. Yep. And it just gets shut down. Like, it looks so perfect for Navi there in, like, a 5-on-2 execute. Yeah. And they just get wrecked by one Molotov in lane. Not even that. Kyo, so the smoke that lands on the truck, it actually leaves a little gap at truck pit. And Kyo just sat and stared through the gap and killed two of them. And none of the Navi members, it didn't even seem like they... They considered that it was a possibility to get shot from that position. Like anytime you set up, like I'm fast forwarding through this buzz, by the way. Okay, anytime you set up like a dedicated s smoke strat, you need to know where the gaps in the smokes are and where people are going to go to exploit them, and you need to just set, have a guy just sit there and post on it and wait for it to happen. Um, yeah, just pre-fire hold it. I'm at I'm live. I'm at 145. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm 141, 140. Happy's just going out to the car by himself, and MBK is just holding a pop flash, and that's something Navi could have done as well. Where as soon as Happy takes contact, he hides behind the wall. The MBK throws a flash. Happy peeks out, gets a kill, and falls back. This this is also classic like LDLC style strats. I, I just think I think it's so funny that since like the um, I think it was the first round that MV won on CT side where Navi did a fast strat, they haven't gone back to anything fast since. They've been all like slow paced, like work your way at mid slowly. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like, that round, even though only one MV player died, was a lot closer than they thought. <laughs> like, it sounds so stupid when it comes out my mouth, but they should have they should have gone with the fast rats. Like, that, that second round. If they did the fast rat one more round in a row, before they're giving up on it, we might have seen a different half. Or, like, even just mixing it in at any point during this half. They haven't done shit. I think the problem is like, okay, you can run the fast strat if the CT's economy is low, but as soon as they build yep. up economy, it's too hard, and then they need to start doing the baiting out. But the first round they did the fast strat was like the perfect opportunity, and even after they lost that, like that next round is also the perfect opportunity because you're just gonna, you know, reset Envy's economy and everything, and they're not gonna be able to afford to, to buy and stop those fast strats. But, yeah, it's, I mean, it's too, a little too late, and 13 13, and. See yeah, now now no, that the Molotovs are out every round, you're just fucked. It's just over. Every, every single one of Envy has a Molotov right now. They they know how important it is on CT side of Inferno. It's just game, like right here, just looking at the economy, it's game over. If Navi got to this point that not, uh, Envy's at right now, Navi probably would have won that match ages ago. Well, the Molotovs are what, like 7 seconds? So they have like 35 seconds of delay just in Molotovs? Seven, Yeah, 7 seconds for Molotov and... Around 17, 18 seconds for a smoke. Like that's just yeah, times five. <laughs> like, that's so much stopping that's an power. Entire, that's, an, that's an entire round right there. And again, you wait until like the moment you need to use it. Like right now, we would have seen Navi already throwing the Molotov and smoke yeah, at mid. Yeah, Zeus was throwing his. his Zeus was Super early. Gone and out. Yeah, like Zeus is not doing anything. But r right now, boom, throw it right in the middle of this area. Look at this crossfire though. They're just guns out. They, Keo and Apex both have their mollies, and they had one smoke, and they didn't even use it. And they're just crossfire. It was so strong from pin sight. They didn't even need their smokes. And again, that's another thing Navi could have done. Low on economy, couldn't buy smokes and mollies to stop the fast tracks. Guns out, crossfire and lane. Guns out, crossfire and lane. Instead, Edwards boosted up on the balcony. Fucking Guardian's up close at arch side by himself. Zeus is God knows fucking where. Rap side, baby. Rap side, pre mollying and then. Molotov burn. He's making s'mores. <laughs> he's rotating. He's coming to mid, throwing his Molotov at mid, rotating around to sight. His teammates die. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's his life. Smoke off. Port side him in this round. No? Yeah, Navi did. But they didn't do anything with it. No, I mean, Seas was lined up for Mexican to do it again. To re-smoke it. What'd they well, do? They just 
wasted just besides just wasting wasted. 20 seconds yeah. <laughs> like hello is this thing on can you guys hear me okay so sees is throwing the smoke for her. porch hello like oh they were oh, okay they're gonna do a fast wrap on they're gonna wrap arch wait did yeah, they miss their the smoke no they, they hit it all uh, the arch smoke. The arch smoke missed. A little bit. Yeah, that rotation came in. Happy's already rotated there. That oh, smoke. Kenny. That smoke whiffed. That arch. That. Yep. That's huge. Blunder. Oh, and uh, look, I mean, if we just want to beat a dead horse, as soon as those smokes came over, Molotov drops and wrap side, and then they have to wait, you know. Seven seconds. Uh, yep, and then it, it allows the second person to come wrap side, so they have a double pit, and they have one in library and one in arch, so yeah. it's just game's over. Yep. Well. Oh. It's actually a really well played CT side from Envy once they got their economy under them. Honestly, it's such a, like, it's amazing to see the contrast of Envy, just on T-side, hyper-aggressive, CT-side, super passive. And it's not, it's not like Envy to be passive. Like, you watch them against Fnatic, and they're playing two T-sides every game. T-side on CT, T-side on T. It might be because they know that they can hold their utility against a team like Navi that's, like, that's slow a slow place. Yeah. Maybe, actually. Here's that one-minute push. I'm curious to see if this will work in Dubai. Ah, uh, probably not. This like if if anyone's watched our games, they know at, it's exactly one minute on the clock that they do this. They push hulls, Apex and Kyo, and then they rotate over to uh, B. Every fucking round. Every fucking round. Oh Jesus! Jesus. Yeah, it's just, it's just, <laughs> well then, <laughs> we had the same thought. Just like goddamn. Like, what do you?